teachers are extremely important. Uh, the teachers have so much influence. I think they have more influence than they realize in for regarding the choice of their pupils. And I would like to invite the teachers to get closer to the industry, to get closer to my type of companies and to get the knowledge, state-of-the-art knowledge that we are happy to provide them. We're happy to provide them with all kinds of educational materials. So they are very welcome. And not for a one-way talk from the industry, but for a mutual dialogue. That's what we are looking for. And we also want to know what teachers would like to have from us, what they'd like to see. Uh, for instance, last year we started with the master classes for STEM teachers in the Netherlands. And that's a, a four evening master class where they really get the state of the art uh, knowledge from our scientists, from our engineers. And we will do it in our research facilities in the Netherlands. So they go back to school with all the knowledge and all the information that they want from us. Shell in the Netherlands is one of the founding fathers of the YetNet uh, network. And YetNet stands for Youth and Technology. So companies adopt schools, they visit schools, they give guest lectures and they cooperate with schools. They receive school classes at their premises, at their offices and factories. And simply to get engagement between the schools and, and the industry. And I'm very happy with the YetNet initiative. It is now running for over 10 years in the Netherlands. And it is always a pleasure to have talks with teachers and to go to the classrooms, to have the classrooms inside of our research facilities and so on. So YetNet is being one. The other thing that I would like to mention is the Shell Eco Marathon, which is now running for over 25 years. And every year some 200 plus European teams not only from universities, but also from secondary schools. They really compete for the most fuel-efficient vehicle that they've built themselves over the last year. Will there still be classrooms 10 years from now? Uh, personally, but that's my personal opinion, I believe in the, the context. The context between people, so not everything via the internet. So distant learning is okay. Uh, internet learning and people can make use of MOOCs and the massive online open communications from all kinds of schools or universities across the globe but there needs to be one point where people can go to and have a talk with their tutor or with their coach or whatever so I think the classroom will be there but there will be all kind of different forms and different ways of doing so and maybe the classroom will be open 24 7